Hello students, today we are here to show you how you can clean the utensils and various other articles made up of metals and other alloys. Myself Manisha and she is Pooja. We both are going to show you how you can clean the utensil at your home and at a very cost effective manner. We have this uh, dusting towel, this micro, micro fiber, fiber towel and this is the plain, duster, plain, duster. plain towel for soaking purpose. And we also have got the tissue papers like for cleaning the sensitive and uh, shiny articles like your glass and plastics. And we have got the sponge bar and the Scott Bride as well. Corn flour is used to remove the grease from the utensil. Tannerin, salt and vinegar are used to remove clean, uh, gleam from brass or copper articles. Similarly, salt is used for removing the uh, hard stained articles, hard stained removals from the uh, articles. And we have got this is what? This is the so soda or the washing soda. So that you use if there is some utensil that we use for making cook, making food like for cooking and if it got burnt. So for cleaning the burn scratches from the utensil, we use the soda water. We just, uh, you know, place some soda water, dry soda powder on the utensil and keep it uh, to and keep it like that for some time. And afterwards we clean it with a regular procedure and the burn marks will easily swipe out. So we will first begin our cleaning procedure and we will first start with the cleaning of a copper utensil. So we have this, this is the cooking utensil and it is made up of copper. So we will start cleaning it. You can see the dark black patches and a very dark red tarnish over this surface of the metal. So we have to clean it by using certain materials that we have at our disposable. That is we have the tenerin salt salt and the vinegar so these are the three uh, chemicals or th three materials by which we can clean the tarnish on the surface of the copper utensil so first what we do you, you need to take out the tamarind a small amount of tamarind would be sufficient for this size of utensil and with the tamarind you have to soak it in the water for 10 to 15 minutes and then you will take out the liquid and then you have to take a you know a little hard abrasive or a steel wool maybe and you have to just you know rub it like this and uniformly anti-clockwise and then the clockwise whichever way you like you have to you know rub it like this and you will uh, see that the uh, dark red tarnish will start coming out like slowly and steadily you have to do over the entire area and wherever these are the edges or the curves where you feel that your steel wool or your scotch bright cannot you know go inside and cannot function effectively or the edges over here so you can use the old toothbrush right you can use the brushes so and for detergent for the uh, for uh, for the loops where are, uh, which is not available for your cleaning you can use toothbrush for the cleaning right yeah so you know like likewise you can clean the entire article for the copper and the same procedure you have to follow for cleaning the brass utensil also you must have uh, seen these brass utensils at your nani's place or at your um, mother's place like uh, earlier they were like used in every cooking but now it has been replaced with steel steels materials and steel so utensils so for cleaning uh, the brass article you can see this black marks so we will follow the same procedure, we will take the tamarind soaked in the water and then we will do it like this in a clockwise direction and then in a anti-clockwise direction. In the circular motion, we will try to swipe out all the tarnish or the dirt material which is present in it and same we will do for the entire thing and we will keep it for some time like 5 to 10 minutes we will keep it like this and then with the warm water and we'll take the normal detergent and we will clean the whole utensil and uh, if you are having decorative brass articles so there is one more thing that you can use to add to the shine that is brasso never use brasso for the eating or utensil cooking items as it contains poisonous substance yeah and it can uh, contaminate the utensil so not to brasso if you are using the uh, cooking utensil. And now Pooja will tell you how you have to clean 
plastics and glass. We need soft materials for the cleaning of the glass. So for this we, we require tissue paper or newspaper which can be uh, soaked with water and you can evenly just rub the tissue paper across the glass or the material. so that it, there will be no abrasions or scratches on the surface. For uh, giving it a shine, you can use water, water and adding vinegar to the water and you can rinse the glass article in the vinegar uh, water for a time and then you can uh, give, get a good article from it. And the same procedure we are going to apply for cleaning the plastic as well. And you don't have to use very hard abrasive for cleaning glass and plastic also. Because if you use a very hard abrasive like we have uh, used in cleaning the copper utensil like the steel wool, it will create leave the scratch. marks. It will create and a scratch over the yes, surface. Yes, it will make uh, the marks over the surface. So what you have to do, you have to be very gentle with the, with the soft material like the glass and the plastic. You have to follow the same procedure that you have followed for the glass cleaning. Like what you do, you will just take the scotch bright or the sponge, you will clean it with the Vim or detergent that we usually use in at our home place. You will just clean it and with the sponge you can, you know, very gently uh, make it dry and remove the other patches and then by using this tissue you can further remove the watermark, right? And and rub it till it gets completely dry. In case you have found very hard marks or uh, you know very rigid marks on the surface of the plastic metal, then what you can use? You can use this vinegar or kerosene and take a very small drop of the vinegar and then just rub it like this. Similarly, you will rub it like this and from the sponge bar you will just wipe it off and keep it for dry and keep it like this for some time and then you will wash it with the regular uh, soap and water so, so that the hard mark will permanently get removed. So what articles we have covered here? The copper, the brass, the glass and the plastic. Thank you.